Hello everybody and welcome to my new video. So today I'm very excited to tell you all that Android Oreo 8.0 has been officially released for the OnePlus 5 and I have updated the same on this phone. So if you go to settings about phone, you'll see that the Android version is 8.0 and the security patch is December 1st, 2017, which is fantastic. So uh, this is a screenshot of the update itself. You can see it's about 1.5 GB and uh, there are uh, some updates that is here but unfortunately the face unlock feature has not made it to um, this particular release so far so we have some launcher updates to the shelf and now that you can upload the, upload the photos directly to shot on oneplus with the watermark and then you have some enhancements to the camera and gallery so we have a new camera ui design and a beauty effect for the portrait mode and in the gallery app you have a special tab for places wherein you can see the different places on the globe where you have taken your photos in apps they have added the history function in the calculator added alarm calendar function in the clock in system uh, the major change here is a new design for the quick settings parallel apps functions and new design for lift up display so let me just take you through a quick look of the uh, little changes that have come through through android oreo first let's have a look at the new camera ui design so if i open the camera app now you will see that the layout is a bit different a single swipe to the right will take you to the video mode and a single swipe to the left will take you to the portrait mode now as you can see here uh, if i swipe up you have the other different modes here present uh, within the camera app if you go to the portrait mode by default the beauty mode is on you can switch it on or off here on the bottom right hand side so just keep that in mind that uh, by default the beauty mode will now be on for the portrait mode so that was uh, the camera UI change. Now next, one of the major features here is uh, within the uh, settings, you can have something called as parallel apps. So what this does is it lets you run two separate instances of the same app as if you have two different phones running that app. So if you are using a dual SIM uh, on this phone and you have two separate numbers, now what you can do is uh, you can go to apps and then parallel apps now all these apps which needs your login information like facebook instagram whatsapp etc if you switch on parallel apps you can get two instances of whatsapp and you can use whatsapp using both your numbers on one phone so once you switch that on if you can see here this is the normal whatsapp icon and towards the right is the second whatsapp uh, I'm sorry whatsapp instance that you can run so uh, I've just downloaded this update so I don't have much information about the battery life etc if you are not seeing this update by default when you go to uh, settings and system updates that is because the update is rolling out gradually throughout the world so what you can do is download the opera VPN app from the Play Store which is this let me just switch on data and show you how to make make this work right so opera vpn so let me okay and just click on connect just wait for a couple of seconds and the app should connect uh, quite quickly depending on your internet connection and ensure that the region is germany if you see any other region just click on this menu at the top oh sorry just click on change region here and choose germany from this list once you are on the Germany region, you can just go to settings and search for the update again and then you should definitely find the update. If you want to know anything more about the official update, uh, please let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, please click on like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope this video was informative. Have a great day.